Ah yes, the Bronco Sport. Hated by full-size Bronco owners who claim it's not a real Bronco. Simultaneously loved by the Bronco Sport owners. And why is that? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you exactly why I love the Ford Bronco Sport and why it deserves to have the Bronco name. Here in North Carolina, we get one snow a year typically, but if you live up north and you have lots of snow, or if you just want to drive somewhere where it's very slippery, the Bronco Sport is amazing in slippery conditions. As you guys saw in my last video, you can't turn the traction control all the way off on the Bronco Sport, but that's probably just fine for 99.9% .9 of drivers in 99.9% .9 of situations. So in my opinion, the traction control itself is one of the things that makes the Bronco Sport so amazing off-road. Which leads me to the next amazing thing about the Bronco Sport, the Haas Suspension, which stands for High Performance Off-Road Stability Suspension. I did have to look that up. Now, all Bronco Sports have this Haas Suspension, but Ford went a little bit further with the Badlands and First Edition models with the addition of a little bit larger shocks in the back and a little bit longer springs front and rear as well as beefier anti-roll bars. But the best thing about the Haas suspension is the hydraulic rebound dampers, which basically in layman's terms, it means when you bottom out, it is a much softer landing than a conventional bump stop. So that means if you're really, really pushing it off-road, it's going to handle it. I have a bit of a lead foot, and to be honest, the Bronco Sport is no slouch when it comes to 0-60. to 60. Less than 6 seconds is not bad at all for a little crossover SUV. If you've seen any of our other videos, you know that we love to push the Bronco Sport to the limit, and let me tell you, those limits are high. And let's agree, that is all relative. But let me explain my frame of reference here. I have off-roaded in a lot of different vehicles, including Jeep Wranglers, Jeep Gladiators, Jeep CJ, Jeep XJ, a whole bunch of weird cars that I've had over the years, plus my current fleet of off-road vehicles, which includes a lifted Ford Explorer, a lifted F-150, and a 2019 Ford Raptor. So when I say the Bronco Sport is really, really good off-road, you can believe it. I want to mention the interior of the Bronco Sport. You know, I've had this thing in some pretty serious mud and rocks and just gotten the interior completely trashed, but you know, it holds up. Yeah, the interior is made of high quality materials. It's very durable. It's very comfortable. I do wish it came with a leather wrapped steering wheel, but other than that, I have no complaints about the interior. It is really nice. One thing about the interior I specifically like is the motorized shifter. If you haven't tried this, just come to a stop, turn the engine off, and you can see it automatically puts itself in park, which I think is really cool. It also comes with these super handy lights in the back, which are great if you're trying to unload in the dark. You can actually aim them into the car. They're great for tailgating or if you're camping and you need to set up your tent in the dark like I have many times, they're awesome for that too. Another feature that is Badlands specific is the under seat storage, which I find to be very, very handy for carrying miscellaneous things that you want to get access to very quickly. I have a first aid kit in here. I have bungee cords and some other things, but kudos to Ford for using what would have been otherwise wasted space. Another cool feature that I appreciate is the rear glass release. So this allows you to open the rear glass separately from the rear tailgate and gain access to that upper level of storage. And I often have the bottom part full of stuff and I don't want to open the tailgate just to take something out. The Bronco Sport has a front facing camera which you can turn on at any time. It helps off road, especially if you can't see what you're about to run over. Unfortunately, it doesn't have a full 360 camera system like the Ford Raptor, but with front and rear facing cameras and a decent sized display on the dash, it's still really, really good. I couldn't narrow it down to just 10 things I love about the Bronco Sport. So here's a bonus, the lights. I love the lights on the Bronco Sport. If you're a maniac like me and love to go off-road in the dark, the lights are helpful. And the Bronco Sports are as good as some of my other vehicles that also have light bars, which says a lot. But it isn't just about how bright they are. I love the design, the actual look. It's very distinctive in my opinion. And when you see a Bronco Sport coming down the road in the other direction, you immediately know what it is because of this distinctive light design. Whether you love the Bronco Sport or absolutely hate it because it's not a real Bronco or 
This is not a real off-roader. The Bronco Sport has proven itself time and time again to actually be very, very capable off-road, which in my opinion makes it worthy of the Bronco name. So there you have it, 11 things I love about the Bronco Sport. And I'll be honest, it was tough to narrow it down to just 11. I could probably make a second video with 10 more things I love about the Bronco Sport. You know, one of which that comes to mind right away is the double pull hood release. You don't have to hunt around for the hood catch. That's kind of cool, uh, but if you guys want to see another video of more things I love about the Bronco Sport or just want to see more Bronco Sport content in general, leave me a comment in the comment section below. Let me know what you guys like, what you don't like. I always try to make my videos better and better. And uh, with that, guys, I'll see you in the next video. The Haas Suspension, which stands for... Hang on, shit's slippery. Hang, hold on, she's serious. Hung over Saturdays and Sundays. Half off spare shocks. Halfway obscene suspension system. Highly overrated shocks and struts. Henry's overbearing squirrel sausage.